Right. Hey guys, Annie Crunch here. We're back with How I Met Your Mother, Season 8, Episode 1. Now, I did come across kind of spoiler. So, like I said, if I ever get spoiled, I won't. <coughs> I always let you know. It was my mistakes. I went into the YouTube comments and I was just reading the comments. And one person just put... I uh, It weren't really a... It's a hard one. I'm just not stupid. It's one of those things where, like, you know, where, like, people put a comment. And they think that... It means those. So it was just basically someone put, um, I'm going to hate the ending of How I Met Your Mother. Uh, it's not really a spoiler per se, but the episode it was on was me talking about, uh, I think, like, how much I would hate uh, Robin and uh, Ted and Ted and Robin would get together. And, uh, yeah, I made the mistake of going in the comments. And someone said, I'm going to hate the ending of the show. I'm not stupid. That pretty much just implies that uh, Ted and Robin do get together at the end of the show. Uh, like I say, my own fault. I'm always honest. Like... Some people think, I just think, like, if I ever get spoiled, I should let you know it goes. But to be fair, I've got through eight seasons without being spoiled, so I can't complain. Now, I don't know how it's going to happen, because Robin's not clearly not the mum. Because um, at the start of the show, he says, Aunt Robin, so Robin's not the mum. So I'm very curious how the show is going to end with Robin and Ted. But yeah, no, I'm only... Obviously, it's not really confirmed anything, but I'm not stupid. Like, literally, in that reaction, I'm talking about how much I would hate if Robin and Ted would get back together um, and be end goal. And then someone just literally put, like, you're going to hate the end of the show. And it's, like, just pretty much confirmed that sort of, like, oh, shit, they're actually going to get together. I'm Pacific, so I can't really complain too much. Like, I'm very surprised I made it this far. I guess I'm going to have to st should stay out. The, the reason I go on YouTube comments because most of the time it's all right. And normally when it comes to spoilers, I can sort of glance over them. And I know when someone's... Like, you can sort of tell when someone's going to leave. That's just the way it is sometimes. I just won't get the comments again. <laughs> I just reply to all the YouTube comments um, at the end. Um, I will say, though, I, there was one mix-up. Um, and thank you for someone pointing it out. Uh, it was Emily. So you put, you weren't wrong at the beginning. It did say this is a story about a wedding that goes horribly wrong, but I'm 90% sure it's referring to Victoria's wedding and that story. Makes sense, because they were saying, like, uh, I'm telling a story about a wedding that goes terribly wrong, but then it goes to the future. But no, I do um, Victoria's wedding. So no, I look forward to see how the actual wedding for Barney and uh, Robin goes. So it makes me a little bit more hype. It sort of dampened my, like, hope, because I was like, oh. If he says it goes horribly wrong, that means everything's going to go horribly wrong. So all my hopes are thinking. So I've got some hope now that the wedding is going to go well. And I'm looking forward to it. Even with the mild storyline, which we're just going to sort of forget. But um, even with that, I still want to see how the story gets to that point. I just have no idea how Bar how Bar how uh, Ted and Robin get together. That just seems absolutely bonkers to me that that actually happens. So that's going to be definitely interesting to see how the show's going to pull that one off. Um... But no, I look forward to seeing the um, who the mother is. So yeah, I've not been spoiled on that. Uh, other than that, not been spoiled on much else. So yeah, I think of it. Yeah, not really. Apart from nothing really at all. So I've been pretty lucky. So like I say, I can't complain too much. But yeah, hopefully you guys aren't too disappointed. I know obviously what everyone wants me to be blind, but I'm not a one for faking reactions. If I don't, if I know something's happening, I'm not going to pretend I don't know. So yeah, I'm I'm curious. I'm guessing that's at the very end of the show, so I'm curious to see what the rest of the show is going to do prior to that. So, yeah, no, I look forward to it either way. Like I say, I'm a massive Robin and Barney shipper, and I do hope they get together. And I'm so glad they're going to at least get a wedding, and I really hope that wedding goes very well. But, yeah, guys, hope you enjoy the action. What is you? Uh, I can't go through with this wedding. No, fuck off. Oh, we're not? No, 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 we are. All right, you took off your bra. Oh, that's a skill. <sighs> Me being Quinn's bridesmaid. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that, sweetie. She probably won't even ask you. She just is. And we both said yes. Hmm. I think they need some sleep. Heck, this calls for some champagne. I think for <laughs> sake. She's also gloriously happy driving off. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Left her fiancé, Klaus, at the altar for me. It was just one... Even a little weirded out that you and I used to date. She doesn't know, does she? She doesn't have a jealous bone in her body. She rolls with the punches. She doesn't have a clue. No, she does not. Okay. I'm choosing you. And we know this is going to be a, a great choice. Thank you. <laughs> this is a weird episode. He has no idea who he is today. Really asking. Tell Quinn what? Guys, go to sleep. It's not like he's 
like he could seduce Uda over the phone. <laughs> Challenge accepted. accepted. <laughs> it's not cheating if it's on the... And he's going to be in there. Okay. I did it. Oh, that was smooth. You're amazing. Let's get Wrong. out of here. I left the car keys in the dressing room. Pretty sure the door locked behind me. <laughs> How can you be so dumb? I think you meant country. <laughs> uh, I was trying to think. Uh, we're just going to blurt out that he used to do Yes! Oh, well, I got out pretty quickly. Jesus Christ. After her play, should have kissed her, didn't lame. He threw three parties. They Best recap ever. Decided to be friends, lame. Then Ted wanted to take Robin to a wedding. She couldn't go. He went alone and met Victoria. Didn't kiss her either, lame. Not a great closer, Ted. But he finally kissed her. They started dating. She went to Germany. Ted kissed Robin. Lost Victoria. Ted did a rain dance. Got Robin. Ted and Robin broke up. Robin moved to Brazil. Came back with a Latin stud. Ted Babe. got a tramp stamp. Not really rude. And you took my grandpa's watch, but I fell in love with you anyway. And you let me fart in front of you, and I asked you to marry me, and you said yes. And we came over here to meet little Martin, and that's everything. Also, I went on the that, right and I want to do buggy. That was pretty impressive. Goodbye, Barney. Well, I thought he explained that pretty well. I love funny recaps. Wait. Was he going to run away as well? Barney. I don't care who this guy is. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh, it's a guy from ages ago. Jesus Christ. Is that foreshadowing that Nick and... Um, Quinn are going to get together. I, I can never do that. Six twenty two West Fourteenth Street. Ooh. And so Victoria. Ooh, I'm actually excited to see what's in there. In your heart. In your stomach. I don't know if I bought a whole storage container to keep this. Oh, there's... <laughs> they just need to marry. Well, they are. <laughs> Unfortunately, the win of it was still a little ways down the road. But the wear of it? Oh, this is a mother. We've seen her legs. Oh my god. <laughs> is this how they meet? Wait, we're we actually going to see a face. <laughs> I thought we were going to see a face then. <laughs> what a dick of a sh fucking show. Uh, that's kind of sweet. Oh. So I've got to see her legs. Not every time. Just if it shows up at the weekly weigh-in. <laughs> see, you can't do that. Miss Garvey must convince You wanted to get be single, Barney. Her doing all or most of the work. This seems a bit. Can't do that. Oh god. Miss Garvey's breasts must be enhanced every Barney still has some development to go. Honka honka. Sorry. Sorry, we crossed out the wives 2 through 8 stuff unless <laughs> unless <laughs> Don't I didn't really cross it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I go a uh, speck of sand, a uh, fairy eyelash, a uh, unicorn whisper too far, perhaps. Mm. You went very far. But can you tell me there's nothing in it? He does have a little bit of a point. But on this one, he might have a point. I mean, look, the idea Guys. of renegotiating the terms of the relation. Guys. Oh my god. <laughs> like you listen to Barney. Of these four couples would break up the very next day. Okay, it wasn't Lily and Marshall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ooh. 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 One of these couples will break up. I can't feel it's Robin. Oh, Quint. Ooh, that's a hard one. Robin and Nick. 
it'd be too quick for Victor. After all that effort, it'd be too quick for Victoria and Ted. And you know what else? You can honka honka yourself tonight. Mm. Did Barney's prenup ruin? Wait. So when you're doing the news live at seven, you <laughs> wink to future you watching the rebroadcast oh, at eleven. Oh God. Maybe. Never speak of ever. That's pretty funny. Ted Ted's definitely done the worst. This is Ted. You were counting. Mama, it's still going. It's like a clown car. Oh. Suddenly it wasn't our apartment anymore. I had no say in the matter. These guys are unbelievable. I don't think Ted's was too far. And watch the news. Quinn has the mo the Quinn's one why she's upset makes sense. All the others negotiable. What are you bitches doing here? <laughs> wow! Back off, stretch. I saw. Her. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Half a I'm confused. If it's not around my neck, then where is the shock collar? On your dick, bro. Oh God. Oh, oh God. <laughs> I got nothing. How about a provision? <laughs> That's expats. Just too much. <laughs> I'm not as good a parent as you. You're an amazing mom, and I. Look at this communication. Fucked, Marvin. You next. Having Klaus. Yeah, Robin in and uh, Nick. Scared we're never gonna escape. Oh, Quinn. Past. Oh, it's just hard. I, I get turned on watching myself do the news during sex. Oh. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Quinn. Oh, Quinn and Barney. Very night. The autumn of breakups would claim its first victims. Oh, autumn of breakups. That means all of them are going to break up. Good night. Oh, we survived. Oh, two have survived. For now. Oh, you're not what it's meant to be. It should be simpler than this, shouldn't it? Yeah. Maybe it should be. Hey, do you trust me? <laughs> no. Hmm. You trust me? Nope. No. Hmm. We really need something this complicated to get married. Yeah. I like when Boy it makes way for the Titanic to return. But apparently it's fucking over iceberg. <laughs> so prenup? Not this time. Oh hey you hey! <laughs> Oh, it seems to be working. I love them. See tugboat? That's love. Yeah. He got tugboat back! Greatest twist in anime. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Uh, I, I at least want to see some like Bar T Barney and Robin together for a while. Like I need at least a good chunk of episodes. The last time, because I just I just love seeing characters in relationships. One thing that really Gets my, gets my rumples in the, my feathers in the rug. I don't know. But you know what one thing that really gets me is, you know, when, like, you have a ship and then they get together and then they'll break up, like, an episode later or, like, something happens. It's like, I, lo I like seeing my actual ship date for a bit, you know? I think, like, everyone, everyone could agree with that. It's just nice. Um, so I hope, like, when they do, before they do get married, I hope we get, like, a good chunk of episodes where they're actually dating for a bit. Uh, as it looks like all the couples are going to fall to pieces. A bit of a shame. I feel like they're just sort of written Quinn out to move the plot forward. Because I actually did like Quinn. Um, but no. Fair enough. I think that was an enjoyable episode. Um, and like I say, Marshall and Lily just being funny. Because of like just stressing about being just so tired and stuff. Of what I was really amusing joke. And yeah, no. I think it was pretty fun. And getting to see the mother's legs. Damn their legs. But I won't be surprised if literally <laughs> Marshall. I can't believe the yellow umbrella. For fuck's sake. 
but I really hope we get to see a bit of like I hope we get to see like a nice chunk with Ted with his missus as well. Like we've only got two seasons left, so I'm getting a bit scared. Uh, but it's called How I Met Your Mother, so we'll see. Um, safety put kids. This is a story about a wedding where I went horribly wrong. It's the very first sentence of the last episode. It's frustrating because it's funny you trying to find it again. Yeah, I feel miserably looking for it again. I uh, did find it at the very end when I was editing, but yeah, I can't believe I skipped over like the first second. I feel for guys on YouTube. Uh, Quinn just come in like the iceberg to my Titanic and Robin Barney. Had a great reaction as always, and your reaction to the reveal. Excited to see your reaction to the last two, like, two seasons. Yeah, like I said, my reveal reaction was just a bit stunted mainly because of like, yeah. Uh, Barney proceeding into one woman to marry another. I was expecting more of a reaction from the best ship coming through. Yeah, no, like I say, I was just thrown off by the fact. I thought it was like, oh, ho ho this wedding goes horribly wrong. So I'm like, oh, so yeah, they got cool. They're in a ship, but then the wedding's going to go horribly wrong. So it just sort of kills me. But now that I know that that isn't what the line meant, I'm actually quite hyped to see how that wedding goes. You know, the show like trying to run out, run away, but that's just expected. Uh, we read everybody's comments, so thank you for pointing that out. It was very good. Um, so if you put yes, I was looking forward to your reaction to reveal. Robin being the bride. I love Quinn too, and you saying she's like the iceberg to Barney and Robin's ship is hilarious, but Robin and Barney are sharing the door and not sinking. It really is true. I was happy, happy to see Rhea Doctoria's back. She's one of my favourite side characters. Some great reaction always. I'm glad, I'm glad we're doing this like the breakup of autumn. I'm glad they brought back uh, romance options that we know. Not just two complete strangers. I think that's really fun. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. No jumps, no, I'm free to walk.